Benue State is the food basket of Nigeria. Benue's land is fertile, and the rains have for decades been kind to the people who are predominantly farmers. But in recent times, nature has not really been their friend. That's because the torrential rains that started last week in many parts of the state have brought more pains than gains. Residents of Idia Village and Achusa woke up to a flash flood on Sunday, August the 27th. The rains, which used to be their most admired guest, had submerged at least 2,000 houses on the first day alone. And by Monday, the floods had spread to the BIPC quarters, where at least 1,000 houses and cars had been covered up. More than 100,000 persons rendered homeless, and so it became an emergency, demanding urgent government attention. We also use this place to provide the basic facilities that I needed uh, to ensure a temporary shelter for all those who will be uh, displaced. The need to find a lasting solution also helped unravel the truth. We embarked on a tour of the worst hit areas and discovered that many of the drainage systems had been blocked by refuse. More shocking, however, is the fact that at least 193 houses had been built illegally on nine out of 11 water channels that run across the state capital. We have a Kansho water channel, about 20 structures blocking it, upper quarters, eight illegal developments. Ukoho Stream has about nine. Demekwe Water Channel has about 44. Kwege has about 17. Ambila Water Channel has about 36. Ukurudu has about 14. Aye has about 18. And then Okpala Stream has about 27. So we have a total of 193 structures that have been marked for demolition on these water channels. It's a tough decision to take, but a necessary one. The houses just have to give way for the water. Painful for the owners of the property, but good for a government that considers the safety of its people a priority. Um, it has also been marked for two reasons. One is that it has been built without approval, so it is an illegal development. Uh, the second reason is that it is, it, it is built across the water channels. So it's one of the factors, one of the things that is holding this water back from flowing to its natural course. The residents are not the only ones affected. Domestic animals also feel the pain. Instead of cars to emit steam or smoke, as the case may be, they regurgitate water. Relief materials arriving at one of the many camps set up by the state government for persons displaced by the floods. The federal government, through the National Emergency Management Agency, has come to their aid, providing food and other materials that will at least make them feel at home. I want to assure you that already relief material has been dispatched and have started arriving in Mokodi. Some has reached the government house, who will hand over the materials to the governor for ongoing distribution to the affected people. Their stay at the camp is expected to end immediately the waters recede, but many of them may not return to their homes, which have been marked for demolition. Perhaps government will have to make new temporary houses for them. But what is more important is to forestall a repeat of the floods that has been the unwanted guest of farmers in Benue, the food basket of Nigeria.